A well, taxi strike continuing, I'm afraid, in Cape Town this morning. It's been messy, messy, messy the past few days. Everyone was hoping it was going to come to an end yesterday. Uh, taxi bosses uh, going to court to force the city to release their impounded uh, vehicle. The alliance also accusing the city of intimidating opera uh, operators. Let's get the latest. Uh, reporter Kevin Brunt uh, out for us uh, this morning. Hello to you again, Kevin. Uh, just I'm seeing a lot more people queuing up uh, behind you. Obviously, there's staff at the depot there. What I'm seeing is buses and lots of SAPS vehicles. Give me the update. What are we looking like? Good morning, Gareth. Golden Arrow Bus Service is running a reduced service in the city of Cape Town Metro today, and that is because they say that they don't have enough resources to cater for, for everyone for the surge in and commuters that we've seen over the past couple of days. they operating on a basis of if a lot of people want to go to a specific location, they ferry the commuters there. It's obviously much different from the schedule bus service normally being run by Golden Arrow, buses leaving from a specific depot at a specific time to a specific location. But as you correctly said, there are a lot of more people and uh, commuters now joining here at the Belleville train station to catch a bus to go to their respective workplaces. I'm joined now by some workers here at the train station. Can you just tell us what was commuting like with public transport over the past couple of days like for you? Yeah, it was really, it was hectic. It was, we had to, there were days where we were walking just to get to work because like they say, no work, no pay. So it was really hectic. We were scared because they, they, there was a lot of things going on. Um, people got hurt. So yeah, it, it was hectic, really it was. We were scared, but and tell me, ma'am, how were, how were you affected, and you and your uh, relatives? Yeah, like my colleague said, it was very difficult because it's a struggle to get to work because we, as you can see now, the Texas is really a, a, a good thing for us to get to work. So, yeah, it's a struggle. <laughs> Gareth, there you hear, there you've heard from some of the commuters with regard to their experience in using public transport now at the time of the strike in its eighth day already and no direction yet coming from Santaco in terms of when exactly the, the taxis will take to the streets again. These people are obviously left now to find alternative modes of transport, as we've heard a number of stories coming from the commuters over the past couple of days of how they have had to make, plan make plans. Some of them had to walk to their places of work and some opted to simply stay away from work, saying that it's simply just too unsafe for them to go to work. We've also last night heard from the Western Cape government, Premier Alan Windy. He expressed his disappointment at the fact that the taxi strike is still on going, but also welcoming the fact that Santaco will be now heading to the courts to challenge the legislation in particular with regard to uh, the city impounding taxis here. The Premier said it will give an opportunity for the officials and authorities here to clarify any uncertainties with regard to which law they are using and can or can they not apply it in this way. The city obviously feels that they are acting within the law, that their duty is to ensure the safety of commuters as well as everyone else on the roads and that is why they have to issue fines, impound taxis if they have to and Santaco now wanting the impounded taxis as you said in your intro, wanting those taxis to be released. Yeah.